What's up guys, Cyf here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make usable macros for MMOs, if, especially if the MMO doesn't have macros or any kind of in-game system that you can use. Um, it's very easy. Uh, you will need a Razer Naga and you need to open up the Razer Naga config. If you have a keyboard too, you'll have two different products. Uh, you want to go to Razer Naga configuration. Alright, th this is a really easy to use interface. Uh, I mean, there's, it's really just straight, straightforward. Uh, you know, uh, remember that uh, if you're operating without the numpad turned on, uh, this will kind of affect how your key bindings are on your mouse. I operate with the switch underneath your Razer Naga to numb settings, so any of my key bindings on the mouse are also key bound to the numpad. Uh, this also makes it if your numb lock actually gets turned off your key bindings for your mouse change so keep that in mind that if you're having problems with your macro make sure your num lock is on and everything's good because it'll do crazy things if that's not turned on uh, the other thing is in-game key bindings make sure you have the abilities say they're trinkets or buffs say a stem like a expertise stem or uh, anything like that a healing stem a uh, power stem your trinkets, uh, anything to that matter, make sure you have it key bound to the numpad keys, which are the same as your keys on your mouse. So when you go to uh, key bind it, make sure you key bind it to those and make sure your numpad is on when you're key binding those so they don't end up in some weird place that you can't find. Uh, it's really easy, just go to macro management, go to new, make a new macro, max DPS, one going to hit OK. Now here's the recording process. You have two options. You can, uh, if you're really not sure what you're doing about delays and different things like that, uh, just go and watch your abilities and see what kind of global cooldown they have if you think it's roughly 0.5. Um, but you can actually manually click these abilities in the order and watch the globals to make sure it's not too fast or too slow. Or if you know exactly, oh, that ability is 0.5 delay, you can actually manually do this. Um, but I'll do the normal version first. Um, say I wanted to, uh, I have two, I have three abilities I want to use. I have two trinkets, uh, which they share a half cooldown. Uh, which, like, say, a trinket in Star Wars The Old Republic, you can't use both of them at the same time because they share, like, a 25-second uh, internal cooldown with each other. But you want both of those trinkets in the macro because if one is not available, it'll use whatever is available. So I definitely recommend putting both of those trinkets in the macro. So say I want two trinkets, my power stem and my expertise stem. What you're going to do is you have those key bound in the game. Say my key binds are 1, uh, let's just use 1, 2, 3, 4 for that. So I will hit record, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then hit stop. Alright, so it has my num1, num2, num3, num4. So all that looks correct. And you can see the difference and the delay between me pressing them, um, the amount of time difference between them. Remember, you can do ignore delay and then insert a delay. You know, you can make it instant. This would be instant, ignore delay. That would mean if there was no globals, it would just be bam, 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 like all four abilities. If you want to insert a delay, this would be, say, uh, those trinkets has a 0.5 half a second basically uh, a delay before they can be used or they have no delay you can actually insert the delay um, you know what you want if you want to check that box um, you can adjust the basic commands um, you can do little stuff like that so the only thing is the key thing to these macros is when you click the button you bind end up binding this macro to you actually instead of you manually say clicking these abilities which may take you uh, four seconds if you are actually in the game and you think okay I hit three four 
like five. Okay, let's say it takes you four seconds to manually do it, but you do that delay, so it's a second. You just popped four abilities in one second. Say they don't have global cooldowns, which a lot of these don't. A lot of these trinkets and um, stems don't. You can pop all four of these abilities in one second and the time it would take a normal person four seconds to do this. So these macros save a lot of time and just make you not have to think about it. Not even have to think about those key bindings. Don't even worry about it. And you just press one button and it alternates the trinkets and gives you your expertise stem. I'm just using Star Wars as an example. This could work on many games. Um, because Star Wars doesn't have an in-game macro system at the moment. I'm not really sure on their stance on using an out-of-game macro system. Um, I haven't heard of anything or seen any problems with it or official statements. So someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but once you actually get done with your macro, you will come over to assign buttons. And I actually like to use these two up here because if you accidentally mash, uh, like, you know, mash a button that you don't want to use um, you know it just makes a mess you accidentally shoot off your macro waste your stems when you didn't have your strong abilities you know off cooldown um, so I like to put it as number four so I actually have to think you know and move my hand to press it and I accidentally don't press it so I have my macro there and what you want to do is you want to come down to macro and then it'll have list all your macros there's the one we just made this is the one I use uh, DPS and it gives you a little option playback option once uh, play multiple times um, this is really just what you're using it for and uh, you know how it's set up for your liking um, but yeah, coming back over to this page if you're not really sure about your delays and stuff do the manual delay and just before you make this macro, pre-watch yourself clicking those abilities and make sure there's not a global or any kind of delay. But if you're 100% sure, like you want to macro DPS abilities and you know the delay of you know of rocket punch is half a second, you can actually manually do this. But don't make it half a second because sometimes there's a little lag and stuff doesn't go off. So I would say. 0.7 instead of uh, 50 ms, so 70 ms. I wouldn't make it, uh, you know, exactly what the global cooldown is. Give it a little bit of room, and it'll still be faster than you manually pressing these keys. Now, me personally, I don't use this uh, for bounty hunter just because there's not a lot of abilities that uh, you know you need to link together in a quick consecutive thing. It's more of a you know, they all have globals and it's just a priority system, so you, I really don't use this. But far as trinkets, other type of stuff, like stems, yes, I have, you know, a macro is definitely the way to go. Speed up the process, you don't have to think about all those key bindings, just one button uh, uses it. Now, if you have any questions about key binding inside the game or key binding here or anything to do with this macro for the Razor Naga, uh, send me a PM on YouTube. Uh, you can Twitter me, but it's not really, uh, I don't check it a lot. So the best thing to do is either leave a comment or um, a PM on Twitter, or a PM on YouTube. So I uh, hope this video helped you guys, and uh, like and favorite if you liked it, and always subscribe if you want to see more guides and news for MMOs. Later. This video is part of the Wave Movement, a career path in video. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.